Hello everybody, what is happening? Welcome back to another video. Man, second video of the day. How many times have you said that? It's crazy, but you know what? News outlets decided to be slow as heck today, they decided to take their little sweet time. But finally, they have spilled the beans. There is news out there. So um, let's get into the first piece of news, which comes as a major heartbreak for me. You guys will probably have guessed it right now, as by now I mean, and that is the sale of RDT. That's right. RDT has officially signed for Benfica. And when I saw that the medical was being, um, you know, was being done, I was, I knew this was going to get done. And this is kind of sad. You know, the, I guess the first heartbreak, I would say technically, was Mateo Kovacic. For me, I did rate him highly. I know there's, um, he comes as a kind of a factious player at Real Madrid, but for me, I rated him uh, Mateo Kovacic. But, Man, this is a big heartbreak for me. RDT was, ah, this guy was really good, very direct, skillful, good on the ball, first touch, direct. You saw his goal versus Barcelona. Man, it was amazing. Uh, sorry for the green screen too. This green screen is quite capricious. It'll tend to um, to go greener than green and then a little less green. It's kind of weird. Anyways, um, yeah, RDT. So this man, this sucks. You know, this this does suck. It hits me right in the feels, man. But you know what? At the end of the day, I still bag Zidane. I still back him. He's got to get it right, though. Come on, Zidane. You got to get it right this time. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You know what? I will bag Zidane 100%. RET for me would have been amazing here at Real Madrid. But, ah, gosh. It's weird because, you know what? Zidane had only told him a couple weeks back that Zid at RDT, you are in my plans, homie. But you know what? He decided to opt out. I don't know why. I don't know what happened there. Zidane decided to go and buy Luka Jovic. Maybe he wanted to sign a Galactico name to kind of give some uh, assurances to the fans, some, some certainty. Uh, maybe it was going to leave a little bit of doubts. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened, but RDT has officially signed for Benfica, and we can say that that's the end for RDT here at Real Madrid, which kind of sucks. Kind of sucks, but this these things are bound to happen. These things are bound to happen. You had Llorente, Kovacic, now RDT. Who else? Who else? The next person actually is gonna be. Let's see if I, let's see if I can get this man. Come on, come on, Marcelo. That's the other person, Marcelo. Now, Marcelo is a contentious one. You know, this season hasn't been so great, but we can say the same thing about every single player out there except for let's exonerate Kaylor Navas. Let's exonerate. Odrio Sola, Odrio Sola I thought was pretty good this season. Um, let's also vindicate, let's see here. Who else? Reguilon. Reguilon was pretty good this season. And we can also vindicate Kareem Benzema. I think those are the four players that we can say have absolutely no blame in terms of, you know, being bad this season. They, you know, it's not their fault that we did so bad. I think they're the four players that we can exonerate just because, um, Everyone else has been so bad. Marcelo has been bad, but you know what? Everyone, like I said, everyone else or most, I would say 90% of the players have been bad. So Marcelo, you know what? He got a free pass this season and that's okay. But what I've seen from Marcelo this season and I've said it time and time again is that he has lost the yard of pace and that worries me. That frankly, that does worry me because when I saw uh, Marcelo playing versus Barcelona, I saw Malcolm exploiting that left hand flank uh, coming inside Marcelo couldn't catch up to him. And there were a couple times there where Malcolm could have scored, but I think he got offside on a couple of them and something like that. Mistimed his runs. And I also think there was a chance he did, just couldn't finish being Malcolm. Malcolm being Malcolm. Um, so yeah, it does worry me. So now Marcelo has reportedly received several offers and has asked to leave the club. This is only one source. Keep in mind that this is only one source that has said this. Let me check the source actually that it's coming from, um, but it's not coming from a very prominent source. Um, I'm just going to check this really quickly. It's coming from, let's see here, Sport English. Now, I don't even know who Sport English is. And this is, like I said, keep in mind that this is only one source. So it's not hugely credible, but Marcelo has been subject to a lot of speculation in the past year. Um, and he has dwindled down. He has dwindled down, but he does have the biggest bag of tricks. He's a very, very technical player. He's able to put in a freaking good cross. The only thing is, I don't know if we're going to play like that. 
you have Luka Jovic. Yeah, Luka Jovic does like the likes to finish. He's a fox in the box, so Marcelo and Luka Jovic could potentially be a good partnership. <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of Marcelo. Does he have a couple seasons left in him, or is he absolutely finished? Is he? I don't know. For me personally, if I think about this, I think he has a couple seasons left in him. I think he does. And I think slowly we will have to introduce Mendy or Reguilon or something along those lines. But Marcelo potentially has a couple seasons left in him. I just don't want to see him prominently being played because of that space being exploited on that left-hand side. I know we have won three Champions League with Marcelo, but Sergio Ramos is also getting slower. He's getting older. So he's not going to be able to protect Marcelo as much on that left-hand side. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below, of course. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching, of course, and have a good day.